Something's going on. We made it. There's the bus. We're at the bus stop at Mazamila. Say it. Mazamita. Mazamila. Mazam. Mazam. Meet. La. Meet la. Looks like they've got a party for us. Lots of dogs. I'm so excited about all the dogs. Well, we didn't have a clue what was going on. We had got off the bus to this. There was a marching band and everybody in the town was in the street. find out soon enough that it was Mexico's Revolution Day. As you can see, all these little kids have all little mustaches and they've got little guns. They are dressed up as Miguel Hidalgo Castilla. He is the, the father of Mexico's independence. And they were all so adorable. We arrived right during their, I believe it was their parade rehearsal. The big parade would be tomorrow. And we certainly have some footage of that around here somewhere. We'll put it in the comments or the description. You might have to look for it. This part of the parade was mostly just the niños and niñas running around looking adorable. They are all dressed in this beautiful handmade clothing and half the town had come out to see them. And full buses would start arriving soon after and the town would be packed in order to see tomorrow's event, which would be the full parade and celebration for Mexico's revolution, Viva Mexico.
my goodness, I could not get over how adorable these little kids were. They were just so cute. And most of them seemed clueless as to what was going on, but their parents had them so dressed up, and they were all trying, bless their hearts. boys in their little hats are so adorable and the girls have the little pom-poms and tutus it was too cute but we would soon find out that because of the celebration prices for hotel rooms were going to go through the roof and we had only booked one night we had no clue this was happening or what was going on we just decided to take a trip up to Mazatnila for the day and when we got there, this is what was happening. And we had no clue. And the prices of rooms were probably more than three times what they would cost normally. And not only that, we would be willing to pay it, but there weren't any. The rooms were all booked up because of course everybody knew that this was a huge celebration, except for us. Not on this map. Oh, we're not on this map. Okay. About 100 miles north of here. You can see we're in the Jalisco, yeah. well, state on, of here Jalisco. Here right here. We were, we are here now. Um, we began our journey today. In Guadalajara. And we began our journey way up here. In that up Japan. Japan. And then we took the but Guadalajara to the is the train, big bus, city. And then the bus went all the way here. It took an hour to get out of the city on the bus. You can watch our video of us traveling on the bus. It's just going to be a separate video. But anyway, Maza Mitla is a Pueblo Magico, which means that the Minister of Tourism gave it a bunch of money once that they found that it has some historical significance as well as there's a cultural significance as well as there is a huge forest that we'll be going to um, so environmental significance as well and it has to meet all this criteria to be a Pueblo Magico at some there are like 130 Pueblo Magicos in Mexico right now it stands for magic town and they put a lot of money into tourism on these towns. And when you're there at the right and they're time, safe. there's all sorts of cool events that happen. Oh, and they're pretty safe too. Sure, there's a lot of security around. This like, town has had a bad rap because it borders the state of Mich Michoacan. Michoacan's on the other side of that mountain. That's right. right. So, um, you can find over the mountain. but I feel very safe here. So, I wouldn't listen to it. Well, we're staying. We're over here in the square. We're only staying two blocks from here. See the dog drinking out of the water fountain? Amanda's made some friends with the, the perros. There's a lot of dogs out here. Dog. Tell them where we're at. We're in Mazma, Mazamitla. 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 And it's like um, just a weekday, so... Mazamila, it's backwards. It's just a weekday, so everybody's here. Except there's a lot of dogs here. Show the ground. This was an Aztec settlement. The calendar, isn't it? Yeah. 
but this was an Aztec settlement. Okay. Masset Mitla was. And then it was settled by Franciscan monks at some point. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like button. It really helps us. You can actually support our channel by sending us a super thanks. We have super thanks enabled. So if you want to do that, that would be really appreciated. But if you'd like to do something that is completely free, all you have to do is hit the like button. That helps a lot. You can also watch our other Mazat Mila videos. We have videos of all kinds of stuff. The complete celebration and the parade that would happen the following day. We also have a video of the several Airbnbs that we stayed at um, and reviews. So if you're looking for an Airbnb in the area, check that out. We went horseback riding in the mountains. So um, you can also see those videos. Lots to do in Mazatmitla. Thanks again for spending your time with us. We appreciate you.